of extracting information from a target without raising their suspicion. This is the site of your final test, Williamsburg's Gold Leaf Bar and Grill. You'll each be handed a card with one single item written on it. This item is a key piece of information about a fellow recruit. Your goal is to figure out what it means and match it to the correct recruit by writing their name on the back of the card. When trying to elicit from a target, you want to make sure your mark is relaxed and comfortable. So drink up. The booze is on us. My card just says Cleveland. Like, is that a name or the city? And now we all know what you have. Felicitations about not raising suspicion. But you guys, no one's gonna give up too much on themselves anyway. But you can't expect to get info on someone without giving up information about yourself. So how do we win? Well, by getting well and truly drunk until somebody slips up. Let's do it. My name was Hannah. She's smart, beautiful, strong, stronger than I'll ever be. We were talking about starting a family together. Car accident. One day she was there. And then. What about you? You ever lose anyone you love? Mm, my husband and our two sons. That's, that's how you do it, isn't it? Apart from your B plus story and your C minus conviction, if you're going to give me the widow trick, please give me something I haven't seen on American telly. Anyone ever tell you you have a really thick accent for an American? Everyone. Apart from my mum. Moved us back to London after I was born. Excuse me. Tragic story about your ex-wife. I wonder what she'd make of it. Should we call her and ask? Elicit without being elicited is the point. Lying isn't the only strategy. I'm playing it close to the best. Plus, I already have a hunch on my card. Mm, well, why don't you play it your way? I'll play it mine. And I hope to see you on the other side. Oh, I'll be there. Actually, I got...